Hey everyone, it's Kinder with iCraft Vinyl. Today we are going over all the instructions you need in order to use iCraft Spectrum Heat Transfer Vinyl. iCraft Spectrum Heat Transfer Vinyl is an iridescent material that provides a spectrum of colors that transition when you view it from different angles. The color of the sheet chosen will determine the predominant colors present in the spectrum when viewed from different angles. Spectrum HTV is sure to add those much needed highlights that you are wanting for your design. Spectrum heat transfer vinyl really adds to the wow factor of your work. I wanted to be sure to mention that the color of your shirt that you are going to use will change the color of the spectrum that is used. Be sure to watch this video till the end to see the purple and white or silver spectrum HTV be applied to a black shirt. Now let's go over all the settings you need to know in order to use iCraft Spectrum HTV. You will use plain cardstock as your cut setting for a silhouette. You will use light cardstock as your cut setting for a Cricut. Your temperature setting is between 305 and 315 degrees Fahrenheit. You will want to use medium pressure when using Spectrum HTV. You will press your Spectrum HTV design between 10 and 15 seconds. Spectrum HTV is a cold peel and it cannot be layered. Today I'm making this Strong Women Worship Hecate design. I will be using purple and silver spectrum for this design. Today I'm working in Silhouette Studio, so I will be using plain cardstock as my cut setting. Make sure in Silhouette Studio you click on your design and go to Object, Mirror, Flip Horizontally, or when you hit the Send button that you click on Send as Mirrored. If your design is already mirrored, you would click Send As Is. Please remember when you are preparing to cut out your design that you place the shiny side of your Spectrum HTV down on your mat. The correct way to prepare your mat is to have the duller side of the Spectrum HTV facing up towards you. Now let's cut out our design. Remember that if you have a silhouette like I do, you will cut your Spectrum HTV on the plain cardstock cut setting. If you have a Cricut, you will use the light cardstock cut setting. Another quick tip is that while your design is cutting, go and heat up your heat press during this time. When weeding iCraft Spectrum HTV, remember to start on the outside and work your way in. That way you don't accidentally weed out part of your design. Also, I really want to mention that iCraft Spectrum HTV weeds like butter. Don't forget to weed out the centers of your letters. 
Another quick tip is to hold up your design to a lamp to ensure you weeded out everything. Before we begin placing our design on our shirt, I like to fold my shirt in half and press it to make a center line. Make sure your pressure setting is at medium and your temperature setting is between 305 and 315 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's place our Spectrum HTV down on our shirt. Remember we are going to press our Spectrum HTV for 10 to 15 seconds. Also remember that Spectrum HTV is a cold peel, so we need to wait for this design to cool down before we can peel off the carrier sheet. Our shirt is now finished and I must say that iCraft Spectrum HTV really made this design come to life. This shirt is absolutely beautiful. As you can see from the different angled pictures, iCraft Spectrum HTV beautifully changes color. Here's the same silver and purple Spectrum HTV placed on a black shirt design. Thank you everybody for watching this video on iCraft Spectrum HTV.